The latest allegations of financial misappropriation rocking the Ocean State College of Education, Ilan Rogon, has threatened to throw the institution off balance. Ocean State Governor Ademola Adeleke has ordered an investigation while the college provost has been suspended with the deputy provost taking temporary charge. Olaleko Akinduju has a report on the crisis. Established in September 1979, Oshun State College of Education in Larogun has a mandate to train quality teachers to acquire qualifications in Nigeria Certificate in Education, NCE, and degree. But in recent days, the institution has been rocked by allegations of financial misappropriation with over 200 million naira said to have been squandered within five months of the assumption of office of a new governing council. These allegations have pitted the provost, Professor Jimo Afolabi, who has been suspended, and the former boss of the institution, Dr. Rashid Oyedeji, against the chairman of the governing council, Dr. Peter Babalola. It is, however, not the first time allegations of embezzlement will be leveled against the institution's management, as indicated in media reports in 2017 and 2022. In the latest incident, the college, under the supervision of the chairman of the governing council, Dr. Babalola, was accused of spending 81 million naira for the accreditation of five courses and obtained a 35 million naira loan approved by the state government on December 6, 2023. The governing council chairman was also accused of funds diversion and holding council meetings almost every week instead of quarterly, thereby going home with a minimum of 660,000 naira per meeting despite the quarterly operational cost of 500,000 naira approved for him. However, Dr. Babalola denied the allegations, saying the refusal to allow the conversion of government monies and property into private pockets led to the media war against him. But the press release in the media by quotes of the embattled provost of Osho State College of Education in Laoragun smacks of cheap blackmail and as usual, in the known style of the provost, Professor Jima Afolabi, and his, his art wire bossa, Dr. Rashid Oyedeji, since uh, a properly constituted investigative panel has commenced work to look at alleged irregularities and infractions by them, one would have expected them to avail themselves of that opportunity to prove they are innocent rather than resorting to media sensationalism with a view of blackmailing the governing council chairman, that's myself. But the former boss of the institution, Dr. Rashid Oyedeji, while speaking on a program on Rave 91.7 FM, insisted that over 200 million naira was wasted by the governing council. I left was 200 million naira. The money is scandard. They went to bank to borrow 35 million naira. The entire 35 million naira was scandard. They brought fictitious contractors to come and do contracts for them. As I'm telling you to now, somebody called me yesterday that some of the acquisition uh, equipment that the contractor are just calling them to bring some. When they asked them to go and to, they, when Peter Barola was asking them to go and sign a retirement paper, they said we cannot sign paper that we don't see, we don't receive the goods. They are just bringing the goods to call it down. Amid the accusations and counter accusations, Oshun State Governor Ademola Adeleke ordered an immediate investigation into the controversy, directing that his chief of staff should lead a committee to investigate the matter. The governor warned that anyone implicated in any wrongdoing, financial mismanagement, or corrupt conduct will face heavy sanctions, adding that he will not shield anybody, no matter how highly placed. This investigation has been welcomed by the academic staff union in the institution, Kwasu. Chairman of the union, Akin Kwelumi Oju Okurulola, says such investigation is long overdue, as according to him, the institution's finances have been mismanaged for years, with workers hold about 60 months of a percentage of the salaries. Uh, this thing has been going on for long, and with the staff of the college, we have been agitating, we have been complaining, we have been shouting, to the extent that even some of our emoluments we have been denied running to about 60 months. And we believe that this is the time the, the government of the day of the day is beaming its searchlight into our plight. 
Attempts to get the reaction of the suspended provost, Professor Jima Afolabi, was not successful as he did not pick several calls made to his line. So I'm standing right in front of the gate of the Oshun State College of Education in Laragun, an institution dedicated towards molding minds and building future teachers. But in the past few days, this particular institution has been rocked by accusations and allegations of financial mismanagement. The management of the school on one hand, and also the government council have been at loggerheads over the mismanagement of the resources of the school. These accusations have threatened to throw the institution off balance, but the government has waded in. A panel has been set up towards looking at these accusations. Now, the management, staff, and students of this school will expect the outcome of the investigation of this panel towards ensuring that the school is put back on the right path. Olale Kwakindoju, Western Spring Television News.